physical therapy, PT. There are dozens and dozens of reasons to need it. And you probably know somebody right now going through it. It's to help you recover from all kinds of injuries and conditions. Well, Chad Humphrey and Debbie Healy are two physical therapists who make it happen at Rock Valley Physical Therapy. And these guys, you know, they can work on my knee. They can <laughs> work on all kinds of, in fact, we were kind of Kind of doing a little knee therapy. Absolutely. Chad gave me a couple maneuvers here. How are you both? We're good. good. Thank Thanks you. for having us. You help people feel better. Absolutely. Is that yeah. what you love about your job, Chad? This is the best part. Yeah. A bet. Yeah. People come to us and, uh, you know, an opportunity to make better lives. That's kind of our tagline. You know, they come to us with uh, struggling with doing certain things in their life, and we're able to help them get back to normal. So, yes. Yeah. And it works, doesn't it, Debbie? It does work. <laughs> it works. It works when you when you're your patients, your clients are cooperative or, or not, even when they're not? No, you have to do your homework if you're going to be a part of physical therapy, that's for sure. Well, I couldn't believe how many locations you guys had. That, it kind of blew me away. Mm -hmm. I was thinking of Rock Valley as being a, a local place, which it is. We have several local locations, mm -hmm. but uh, you have 61, two locations? Yeah, yeah this October, uh, middle of October will be 61. My goodness. Yeah. Far and wide. Several here in our area, both sides of the river, but, mm -hmm. but where else? So we have 13 here in the Quad City region. Mm -hmm. External to that, we've got clinics in Nebraska and Des Moines and the corridor, so Cedar Rapids area, mm -hmm. Peoria, southeast region. So we just continue to grow. With all this cool equipment, because the equipment helps, but there are other things. I mean, you know, oh, do, yeah. you, do you find that your profession has changed a lot, Chad? Since you started or not? Yeah, I, you know, it has. You know, the education has, has changed a lot. I graduated with a master's degree, and we're now graduating doctors of physical therapy. Are you? Um, yeah, so the profession has grown a lot. Um, you know, Rock Valley, you know, we specialize in musculoskeletal care, but, you know, there are a lot of other things that we do with regards to care that maybe people aren't quite as, you know, accustomed to going to a therapist for. Um, mm, let's talk about those. So like what? things, fall risk, you know, people, as, as, we, as we grow, I mean, we get a little bit older, as sometimes we, age, yeah. sometimes we um, you know, have issues with our balance, you know, and that's a really important thing that we can do is help retrain balance, um, prohibit, you know, people from falling. Um, things such as um, jaw pain, you know, somebody has, you know, dental, you know, th issues we that we're just, just talking, talking about, about you stuff, know, but yeah. we, you know, people have trouble chewing, jaws locking up, jaw mm -hmm. pain, you can see a physical therapist for that. What um, can you do about a clicking jaw? Tell me about that. I think I have a little one. Well, I'm going to have you solve all my problems, right? So, now. so there are so multi multiple things okay. that can cause that, but, you know, sometimes we have muscles that aren't working quite as well around the jaw. Sometimes we have joints, you know, joints in our jaw that is stiff and we need to mobilize that jaw. Um, we can also retrain them on how to move it. Just like anything, you can get into altered mechanics and how you're moving, and our, our job is to teach you how to move properly. So you, your biggest thing is that you teach, you teach me what to do. Absolutely. I mean, you might, you might touch my jaw, or would you, or so, not? So, yeah, so we, manual therapy is integral to what we do, but patient education is the most important part. Sure. You know, if you come to us and nothing changes, chances are some things may reoccur in the future. So, you know, the ability to interact with the patient, educate them on what's going on and how to help make this become a permanent change for them is really important. Right, the education. Absolutely. You have to be able to communicate. Is that difficult <coughs> sometimes, Debbie, in, in really uh, helping people help themselves? You know what, I think what we encourage is that we don't want to see you in our clinics forever. We want to see you for one episode of care, and we want to teach you what you need to do to be able to manage it on your own. We hope that we've done a great job and that you choose us again for any other physical therapy needs that you might have, but the education is the most important part so that people can take care of this on their own. And they don't need a, a referral from a physician. Sometimes we think that I can't just I can't just contact you. I need to call my doctor who needs to g give you an order or something. Yeah. Is that not the, that's not the way it works? It's yeah. not, actually, I read a statistic not that long ago that said that about 70% of the population believe that they still have to go to their doctor to get a referral for physical therapy, and that's just not true. Mm -hmm. So any of your viewers watching today that mm -hmm. think, oh, maybe I'd like to learn a little bit about what Rock Valley has to offer, could call one of our clinics or go on our website, and then they could be scheduled very easily at one of our clinics to, well, to meet I, with a therapist. I saw some stuff about open houses that you, that you host. Correct. Yes. yes. Are they on, on regular basis, or can I could just come in and you can show me around? Well, you can certainly come anytime. But, okay, um, I, I think I will, for my <laughs> knee and my jaw. <laughs> but we, we, we do have three uh, open houses coming for the three new clinics in the Quad City area coming up um, in the next month. So, okay. yeah, um, the clinic where, where I work will be on October 13th from 4 to 6.30 p.m. Yeah. 
the Moline Clinic, a different location, or it's back in the original, or something like that, right? So yeah, so um, the clinic that I that I work in, uh, it actually opened in 2002, and uh, we reopened just on Monday, and that's where we're going to be having our first open house, yeah, in Moline. Well, I know you guys are are so passionate about what you do, and I can tell you really care about it, and I can certainly understand why. I mean, you're hands on with people in in changing their lives, absolutely, and or helping them helping them change their yeah. lives yeah. as well. Okay, so we're talking about a rock Valley Physical Therapy and in all its many, many locations throughout the Quad Cities. You guys are from that, I don't want to call it your main, is it your main location? Yeah, it is, it is that location. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay, they're in, in Moline. Phone number as well. If you go to rockvalleypt.com, you will find there all of these locations and everything you need to know. And uh, so we invite you to do so, help yourself feel better. You guys did a great job. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. Chad and Debbie, good to meet you both. You too. You too.